Milwaukee's new job site radio is specifically advertised as balanced sound for the job site, but this radio seems to have a lot of sound and good quality compared to some of the other ones that are out there on the market in this small size. Let's come in, take a quick look at it, and then turn on some sound so you can hear what it has. Hard to see here, but we have two tweeters that are inside and two three and a half inch woofers. That's going to be all the sound you're going to get out of this. Basically, here we have Bluetooth that we can set and connect to. We have our presets. I'm going to put the volume down a little bit on this. We can switch to AM, FM. We can go through any of our nine presets that we have in here just by pushing the preset button. You have a clock button. If you push and hold, it will go through and allow you to set the clock. Pretty simple as far as that goes. Bass up and down. I have the bass all the way up. You'll hear that when we put the sound on. I have the treble at four. It can go up to seven. Basically, we can push forward if we were on Bluetooth. We could play. We could go back. We can pause. We can do a lot of different things. Control our phone from this, which is very nice. And the phone will actually control this. It'll show you on this display what's going on from the phone. The antenna and presets work excellent. Inside the shop, I'm able to get all the presets that I could imagine as far as radio stations. This one is hard for me to get in the shop. It's coming in perfectly clear here. And if we want to go through, and YouTube's not happy if I do a lot of that, but it's great. Even AM, as far as getting something in, has been very good. And that is something that isn't always it. So usually I can hit this and we're pretty good. So not bad, you know, when you look at what it'll do. On this side, we have our input for the AC adapter in an output of a USB-C for charging only. There's rubber around that, that's pretty sweet. The back will allow any M18 battery to work with it. You're gonna need a battery inside. Back in here, there are two double A's that are gonna hold your presets and the clock. I said double A's, those are triple A's. With that said, everything else is pretty standard on this, fairly lightweight. It works great. Let's listen to some sound. All right, let's check out what balanced sound built for the job site sounds like. That's Max. Pretty good. Bass is at a six, so we could go up to a seven. That's Max bass. Let's go. Colorful Flowers by Tokyo Music Walker. That's Max, so it's still clear. Over you by Osh. Still very clear, running off Bluetooth. Let's skip ahead. I think this, this isn't the music I would listen to on this, but this is a good representation of everything across the board. Fragments by Arrowhead. Very clear, and I would venture to go out and say that this is going to keep up with some of their bigger radios that are out there. I mean, it just seems to have a very clear sound. We find that job site radios do a lot of quirky things, and this one actually doesn't. When you plug in the AC adapter and run it off of corded power, we don't get any humming or buzzing through any of the radio stations. It's crystal clear just like it is with the battery and I think that that's important for many people. It does have a place for you to store your phone in multiple different areas and it even has a place on top that looks like it could be a magnetic charging port or a uh, wire free charging area. It is not but there's places for you to put all kinds of stuff all over this thing which is I think pretty cool especially if you're on the job site and you want to keep track of something or if you're using this it's neat just to have your phone here. You can charge your phone and have it here if you're on the USB-C, but as far as that goes, there's no auxiliary in. 
So use Bluetooth. I get it, no big deal. The radio stations, again, like I said, work great. You do not get more bass if you use the Forge battery. Tried that. The AC adapter, when you put things in or out of it, sound exactly the same as on battery. I think that's huge. When you look at the compact and overall design on this, you have a good roll cage if you were to drop this and it were to hit something. I think that's also great. This radio is gonna keep up with some of Milwaukee's old larger ones, in my opinion. The quality of sound, I think, has definitely increased as time is going on with job site radios. But with that said, I think that Milwaukee has a great little tagline there as balanced sound built for the job site. Because a lot of us expect these radios to go well beyond the job site, go at, you know, take them out at home. And then some people say, well, my JBL boombox does much better than this or that. This is a great job site radio that's gonna give you excellent sound and for 90% of people who use it outside the job site, they're gonna be absolutely thrilled. If you're one of those that wants, you know, some really kicking bass out of something like this, you only got three and a half inch woofers, you're not getting much, and what you do have is actually pretty good. But it's not gonna be a great party radio. It's just not gonna have the subwoofer type thing that's going on with it get something a little bigger. So with expectations of the size that you have, this thing is absolutely excellent. It's right up there with any of the little bit larger job site radios that we've reviewed in the past four years. So I think that this thing is actually well thought out, well designed, and it does have a great balanced sound, especially for a job site radio. So spot on with that. I really like what they did with it. I like the weight, not too heavy, including the battery. I like the fact that it still shows the clock even without the battery in place. So you're running off those two triple A's that are in there. Those might die quicker than before, but you always have the time here. So that is something I think is cool for the job site because it allows you, even if your battery is dead, to see the time. This will not, will not charge a battery. There must be something with that. And again, if it did charge the battery, sometimes we get interference with everything and that's a downside. But it would be nice if it would, it won't. So don't expect that. And like I said, it'll take any of the M18 batteries, even the largest. There's plenty of room inside here for any of the big batteries. Great little radio. Highly recommended if you're looking for something on the job site or if you're looking for something to carry with you and you really like the Milwaukee brand and have the Milwaukee batteries, it works out wonderful. Check it out. Love to hear your comments below. As far as sound quality too, I wanna to mention, you're coming through my mic and back through your speakers. You could be listening to it on the phone. You could be listening to it on the computer. You could have great speakers. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna really give you a great idea of what this sounds like. Too much is happening in between here and when it gets to you. So it's good sounding. You're gonna have to take my word for it. Leave your comments below. I appreciate that. As always, give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.